This is the story of one of the least developed provinces in Papua New Guinea, Gulf Province. This is Gulf Province, located on the southern coast of Papua New Guinea. Gulf Province has borders with Central, more of the Southern Islands and Western Province. The province is dominated by highland mountains, lowland river delta, and wide expanses of seasonal flooded grasslands, including long stretchy beaches. Gulf Province over the years in Papua New Guinea has produced some prominent figures in history, including Sir Albert Murray Kiki, Sir Tore Loko Loko, Sir Vincent Derry, Sir Mikere Marotha, and Chris Hyvetha. Gulf Province is also known to be the province in which the Papua New Guinea flag designer Mrs. Susan Karike Huhume is from. It is also known to host the famous Tuare Mask Festival, an attraction for tourism in Papua New Guinea. There are not many economical activities within the province, hence, in most cases, Piltonut sago are the main source of income, but producers such as coconut fish are also helpful when it comes to that. The Piltonut is our what? cash crop in the what? What? province. Main cash crop is sago. We used to come and sell those things at the market. Infrastructure and basic services still lack. For example, health services tax very much. Statistics show that one medical officer serves 6,681 patients, while only 23% of the population have access to road, while the rest rely on food to access services. Even though there are essential services being provided, the delivery is not as efficient. Gulf Province is in a need for developments. The fate of the province now relies on the younger generation to be the wind of change develop Gulf Province. There has been no development whatsoever in Gulf Province for the last 40 years. We begin the locals, all young people know me, me plan, me plan. some education side, there's nothing. Now the health side too, there's nothing. You go up the river and you by looking all along the way from um, Kerama right down to Baimuru. I don't think there's proper development done. There's no school, there's no proper school here. And uh, there's not much uh, uh, or many shops here that can provide varieties and uh, food refrigerated, uh, refrigerated uh, uh, goods and uh, vegetables. Despite the stressful and living economical conditions, the people of Gulf rely on their naturally available resources such as the sea, the mangrove, and their strong cultural heritage. There is still hope for the province. With the discovery of the biggest LNG in the Southern Hemisphere, there is a vision that Gulf province will never be the least developed province in Papua New Guinea ever again.
Klikau province in the next three to five to ten years will be the economic hub of Papua New Guinea.